from anal to vaginal, how to do it safely. As of late, questions about anal sex abound, and I am here to answer the call. If you are a fan of anal sex or just curious about it, but you don't want to forego vaginal penetration and would like to do it all in the same session, here is some advice so you can have a good time and stay healthy. Who says that you can't have it all? Hi, I am Dr. Tanji, the sex doctor, board certified clinical sexologist, and your favorite expert. I talk openly and without shame about your most pressing questions regarding sex, and I promise you that this is the most honest and open sex conversation that you will find on this platform. If you are seeing me for the first time, welcome. We are enlisting for our growing strong and vibrant sex positive community so i invite you to join our worldwide movement by subscribing and hitting that notifications button like and share post your respectful comments and leave your questions below so we can all join in the conversation learn and show our love for all things sexual health so going from anal to vaginal penetration can it be done and how can you do it safely First, what's in your rectum? As I have said before, the rectum is an environment rich in different microbes, all of which live there happily ever after, and we don't even think about them. These microorganisms are part of the gut microflora and work in the background to help to keep us healthy. Inevitably, your rectum and anus also have feces or traces of it. Therefore, when you have anal sex, there could be traces of feces left on the penis or sex object or finger. And obviously, if someone puts a penis or an object or a finger inside the rectum and then the person's vagina, there could be some transfer, transfer of fecal matter into the vagina. Does that sound like a good idea? Probably not, since the environment of the vagina is different to the environment of the rectum and different bacteria live in those environments and they belong to their own environment. They don't like mixing. What could happen if you go from anus to vagina without protecting or cleaning the penis object or finger? The bacteria that normally lives in the rectum and inside the anus can potentially infect the vagina. If you go from anus to vagina, having vaginal sex right after unprotected anal sex can also lead to painful vaginal and urinary tract infections. Also, Remember that there is a risk of tearing the tissue around the anal area and that STIs can be passed on through anal sex. The penis can also get infected with unprotected anal sex, so it is best to take some safety measures so that everyone remains safe and you all can enjoy anal and vaginal sex without having to worry or deal with the aftermath. Here are some tips no pun intended, so you can go from anal penetration to vaginal intercourse with peace of mind. Have full and ongoing conversations with sexual partners about safer sex practices. Ask questions, do not dismiss anyone's concerns, have in-depth discussions about the practice before you engage in anal to vaginal sex. Negotiate boundaries with your partners. Everyone's comfort and safety should come first. Wear a condom for anal sex and take it off for vaginal penetration so that the penis is clean before entering the vagina. Have cleansers and wipes at hand for a quick cleanup after anal penetration and before entering the vagina, and this applies for the penis, toys, objects, or fingers. Remember that how safe the sex act is also depends on the situation, the sexual partner, your STI status, and your comfort level and risk tolerance. Never, ever, ever go from anus to vagina without full consent. Do the right thing and always honor yourself and your partner by listening to them and respecting their boundaries. Make sure that the rectum is clean or as clean as possible by having a bowel movement and using an enema to flush the area before anal sex. That usually makes anal sex more comfortable and you will have a less messy situation to clean up before moving on to the vagina. If you're wearing a barrier for anal penetration, such as condoms to protect the penis, sex toys or objects, or gloves to protect the hands or the anus, if you're fingering or fisting, take them off, sanitize, 
and wear new protection before entering the vagina. This also applies to those penetrating different sexual partners during the same encounter. And finally, use plenty of lube specifically for anal sex during penis to anus penetration. The lube, along with a protective barrier, make it more difficult for infections to be passed along and for the delicate structure of the rectum and anus to be damaged. Have your plan of action ready before you begin so everything goes seamlessly. Remember to always stay safe and respect your sexual partners and the experience will be more pleasant for all. Do you have more questions about sex or about this specific topic? Leave them in the section below. I am also leaving you with some videos on anal sex that I have posted here on my channel. This is Dr. Tanji, the sex doctor, and I'll see you next time.